One of our cameras captured the excitement of their discovery as Dave McNamara reports on the ghosts of the Gulf. An unmanned vehicle sinks below the surface of the Gulf of Mexico. The treasure hunt begins, and the prize is history. A shipwreck, probably more than a century old, lies directly below these ocean researchers from Texas A&M. Look at the shape. She's got the shape of an old vessel. Sonar paints the outline of the shipwreck. What'd you get for land? 50? 55 meters. That's a, that's a big boat. Yeah. At nearly 200 feet, it's twice as large as expected. This site was found by an oil company that was using sonar to survey the bottom of the Gulf. But the shipwreck has never been seen by human eyes. Should be dead ahead of you. Until now. All right, up, come up, come up, come up. You're going to hit it. Wow. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. It's wood. <laughs> Looks like wooden frames. Boy, she's in incredible shape. On the surface, the weather is changing. The leading edge of a cold front approaches. The seas begin to roll, and time is running out. A second vehicle, a one-man deep-water submarine, joins the search and begins its quarter-mile descent to the Gulf floor. The submarine provides extra light and a new angle. The flat image takes on a more three-dimensional view. It's a new technique for doing underwater work that's being tested by the vehicle's owner, Deep Marine Technologies of Houston. What we wanted to do was prove the concept that logistically launching and recovering both systems at the same time was doable, it was safe, and it's more efficient. That's the fluke of the anchor right there. There's the shaft and that's the folding stock. See it? That's the anchor's bottom right there. That's the hook of the anchor, the fluke. The remains of this wooden sailing ship are an archaeological gold mine. Two-thirds of the vessel is still intact. You can still see the lines from the mast rigging. It hit the bottom. Probably hit the bottom going 50 or 60 miles an hour. It just smashed it. And all the rigging's gone forward. Everything's, that's awesome. When Brett Fanoff, a marine archaeology student, looks at this wreck, he sees a historical ship that is amazingly intact and loaded with artifacts. Grab it. You got it. Beautiful. A wood sample will help researchers determine the ship's origin. It's nice, all that yellow, you got a lot of iron fastenings and sulfides here from that. This little fastening mark right there was probably had a nail driven through it. Because of all the oil and gas exploration in the Gulf of Mexico, it's become fertile hunting ground for old shipwrecks. Whenever companies want to lay a pipeline or build an offshore platform, they have to do an archaeological survey to see what's on the bottom. And those surveys give researchers a roadmap to uncovering history. We have several lifetimes of work to just identify the ships that have already been located. Within a week of leaving this spot in the Gulf, researchers were able to put a name on the wreck. She is the Western Empire, a British ship that was lost September 18, 1876. It was a three-masted schooner that looked very similar to this one. The ship was en route to New Orleans with a load of lumber when she sprang a leak and sank. When a ship capsizes or sinks, when it gets full of water, it writes itself back up and it literally sails onto the bottom. So it just comes, bam, right down into the bottom right side up. Ten men drowned. And now, for the first time in more than 125 years, their story is being uncovered. With photographer Brian Lucas, I'm Dave McNamara, Eyewitness News, Night Watch. The Texas A&M researchers are planning more trips to this wreck and others in the Gulf. They hope to retrieve artifacts that can be studied and then put on display in museums.